Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 19 on our Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Oh, it has been a while folks. It has been way too long since I have released a video on this channel and I apologize guys. I do have an explanation and you guys will be getting that here in this episode. And I just want to say if uh, if you guys are still around, I know I know the channel's been tough lately, but I just appreciate all of you guys who have stuck around and been patient through all of the changes that have been going on recently. I know it's been it's been tough. I've really missed making videos, but yeah, like I said, there will be an explanation later on in the video for everything. But for now, it is time for us to get back to work. We will be coming back to a proper schedule, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be fun. We have some new series going on, which will be great. More announcements coming up here soon. But instead of just walking around and talking forever, I'd like to get a project started. So, Creeper? Okay, thought I saw a Creeper. Anyway, today's episode, I think we're going to start this off with a bang. We're going to get right back into this world and uh, get something going. So, as you know, last episode, however long it was ago, like a month ago, we built... Oh, man. I have... I'm rusty, guys. I have lost the parkour skills. Ugh, shameful. Shameful what's going on. But anyway, yes, we will need to start working over here because we built our lovely roads. So what I'm thinking, we need some villagers because we need tools. We need unlimited books. You know, villagers, they suck, but they're awesome at the same time. So I think in this space right here, we're going to build a huge villager trading hall. And this one, I know it was a while ago, but I did build one in the Pit Forge world, which is also part of the changes you guys have probably heard about. So what's it's, it's going to be a lot more advanced than that, a lot more advanced, a lot more automated, and it's going to be in an actual building that will fit the, uh, the style, kind of like what we have there. So the first step, though, before we do any of that, will be to get some villagers over here. Which sucks, because there are no villagers close by. However, off camera, I did do some work, and we do ooh, we do have a village in the nether not too far away. So what we'll probably do is I'll set up a nether portal way over there, and then we'll get our villagers through the nether using boats on a straight path, I think. Maybe rails, it depends. I don't want to use a lot of iron. And then we'll just take them, pretend I'm pointing through the nether through the nether all the way into the portal and then we'll just pop them up over where we'll be building. So yes, that is the first step. Let me go ahead and get my stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're at the village where we'll be getting our villagers from. Our nether portal is just right over there, but it is unfortunately nighttime and there are mobs everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take off and I'll kind of show you guys the area. So yeah, our nether fortress is actually right, or not our nether fortress, our dungeon where we went to fight the ender dragon is just right down here. So what I'm going to do is we'll obviously move villagers. Oh, I think I looked at that enderman. Wonderful. We'll just move villagers through the boats. I have some of them saved. That guy looks like he's about to die. So sorry, mate. And then we'll just take them down into the fortress, get them through the portal into the nether. And then I have my obsidian to set up the new nether portal. And we'll get them over to that spot that I was talking to you guys about. We're going to try something a little different, though. And that is what we're going to do this in a time lapse. But a time lapse chat, actually. That'll give me a good chance to kind of explain everything that's been happening recently. And, uh, yeah, just, ooh, some llama, sweet. And just keep you guys in the loop with what's been going on. I know, copying mumbo, but hey, everyone does, right? So, anyway, time lapse chat coming up right now. Okay, folks, well, here come the excuses in the form of a time-lapse chat following in the footsteps of the good mumbo-jumbo. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of give you, one, the new recording schedule, and then two, just the reasons why I have been so inactive lately, and just kind of say thank you for your guys' patience and sticking with me through all this and still being around to support the channel and see where we go. So anyway, one... Excuses. Let's do this. So basically, yeah, as you guys probably knew from my last episodes, I was investing in some new equipment, new mic, a few things like that. And basically, I ordered quite a few things in one bundle, and then it took a while to arrive, probably about two weeks. 
And then from there, I realized that I didn't have um, a, let me think. So I had my mic, my stand, kind of my cover, and my power converter. And so that was all super good. To some of you guys, this will mean nothing, but some of you other video makers might understand this. And then when that all arrived, I realized that it was my power converter was made for a PC because it had like an audio, not an audio jack, but like a mic jack so that I could plug in a microphone. But I have a Mac because I am poor right now. And yeah, that kind of sucked because I couldn't use my power converter or my mic. So I went and I bought another piece. It turned out it itself needed another piece. And then in doing some more research, I found out that I could just buy a USB audio jack converter thingy. And so I ended up being able to use all of my old equipment, but with, um, yeah, but with my new mic and stuff. So anyway, that's when everything got sorted out, but it took a long time, just a lot of ordering things and waiting to, waiting for them to arrive and kind of figuring out where I had messed up. So anyway, more of the story is I have all my new stuff. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Obviously, it's not the best in the world, but it's a lot better than what was going on. So that's really awesome for me. I'm really happy about that. And I hope you guys will be happy too, because that means that content will be starting up here again. So yes, that brings us to the next point, new recording schedule. A few things that I mentioned as well before uh, finishing up was one, that I was going to have a new series which was going to be a let's creative let's build series and I still have plans for that but unfortunately I um I still have a problem going on with trying to do that right now just because I only have one computer and time lapses it's all a bit of an issue so yeah that'll be sorted out here sometime soon I'm in no rush to do it though so just know that will be coming at some point but not necessarily soon right now though we will, one, be rejoining Pitforge, the uh, the new Pitforge. There's some, some beef that happened, some stuff that went down, and so that's all been sorted out. Super, super happy with how the guys handled it, and so we're going to be joining them again on the new Pitforge world, as well as keeping our existing Let's Play uh, series going, which is what you guys are watching now. So yes, we'll... Um, I think we'll just be doing three videos a week for now because if I try to push myself a ton then I'll just get overloaded and backlogged and it's just no fun for anyone. So three videos a week and then we'll probably be doing a Let's Play on Tuesday and then Thursday will be Pit Forge, Saturday Let's Play and then keep on going like that. Ideally it'll just be rotating every other video so one video will be Let's Play, one will be uh, pit forge and just keep on going like that but as uh, as we join pit forge again I know I'm going to be super inspired to work on there a little bit so there will be uh, exceptions and so we might have a pit forge week or something like that where we go no more than three videos in a row of one series that's kind of how the channel will be working and I'm going to keep this schedule going for a while don't worry won't have any changes here soon so that is something you guys can trust and uh used to keep track of videos and when they'll be coming out. So yeah, Monday, or sorry, not Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday rotating aside from specialty weeks. Well, how, will be how I am doing it, excuse me. And then, yes, I just kind of already told you, but we're going to be going back to Pit Forge, yippee. Super excited about that. I've been watching a few of the guys' videos, and I just really... I really want to get involved with a community, and I mean, these guys are absolutely awesome, great YouTubers, great people, and I just want to get involved with them and have some fun. So, yes, uh, actually, I don't I don't want to spoil too much, so I'm going to probably end this time-lapse chat here, here right now, and uh, yes, there will be more information coming out probably in the next Pit Forge video, or the first Pit Forge video of the new season, whatever we're going to call it. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this chat. Let's get back to it. Okay, folks, well, it has been about two hours since we started that time lapse. Oh, my goodness, moving villagers sucks. As you saw at the end of the time lapse there, that one dude, I was trying to move him, and then somehow I got teleported to the end because I was super close to the portal. And, uh, yeah, so he ended up dying, and then I had to move two other ones, which wasn't too bad. They both worked pretty smooth. So what we have... 
is this white coat that you guys saw. And then we have our brown coat, which we need. We always need our brown coat. And then here is another cartographer. It's so annoying in villages. So many of the white coats are cartographers, which seem like pretty pointless villagers to me. But anyway, that really is like the painful, like make you want to rip your hair out part of the build done, which is really awesome. So for now, I'm going to fly on her. Oh, never mind. No, I'm not. There we go. I'm going to... Nope, I'm going to hit a tree and almost die. Wonderful. This is great. I'm going to fly home, and we have our nice little entrance here. Oh, there we go. made it. And I'll get this stuff together. Let me think. Uh, I've got to design it, because this will have the villager breeder and then also the villager trading center built into it, like we have done in the past. I did not need all those boats. I'm not sure why I crafted so many up. So I'm just going to dump everything in here for now. And then let's do some planning, shall we? We have that entire space to use, and we can go underground if we need to. But I'd really like to stay away from that if possible. We'll just land on top of this tree right here. Wow. Come on, Minecraft. You really hate me that much? Really? We'll pick this tree then. Okay. So here we are on top of this. We have this kind of like entire little block right here. I want to be the the trading kind of market area. And that's what we'll do. We'll kind of turn it into a market theme section, I guess, of the, uh, of the city. So, shoot. I really should have thought this out. Yeah, guys, I'm going to... I'm going to poke around in a test world a little bit, actually. Just kind of get, not a full-on design, but just kind of a layout, I guess, set up of the building. And then I will come back here with the resources that we need, and we can start kind of working on at least laying out the outside bit of it. And then we'll start working on the village breeder. So, yep, here we go. Let's do that. And we're back. We have done quite a few things since our last little progress update. We, once again, have our villagers right there, like I showed you. And then we have this like little blob of blocks here, which is our foundations, our framework for this villager trading hall thing. So what we have, we'll get on top of this tree right here. Ooh, are we live? Nope, we're lagging. There we go, okay. We'll just go on top of here. So yeah, once again, we have, it's gonna be a bit of an interesting design kind of following the theme that we have over there for our forge, but we'll have two kind of wings, I guess. This will be one wing right here, and then another wing right here, which will have two layers. The bottom layer will just kind of be kind of redstone-y stuff, I guess, and then the top layer will actually have all the villagers and kind of the trading section. Then this will be the little courtyard that we can walk through. This right here is also going to be part of the building, and then back here we're just going to have a pretty tall tower, which will kind of go up into the sky, give our our village some height, and then that'll also be, um, you know, I don't know, actually. I was going to have the villager breeder right here, but that's not enough space. So I think we're going to have to go underground for the villager breeder and then just have a mob elevator. So the next step for us, we have all of our supplies kind of sorted out up here. So we're just going to have to go through with all of our andesite and stone brick and start laying out. Oh, let's also actually grab some wood as well. Smoke wood, because we'll be using that. So yeah, we'll just have all of our things here, and then three layers of this. So two, three, like that. And then the fourth one, once again, we'll be coming out and doing that little style that we did over on our forge. And then yeah, like I said, these first three blocks, what do I have here? Oh, I have to get my silk touch pick, so that we can keep our stone. But yep, we'll just be following that design once again that we did on that area. So that's going to take a little bit of time for me to do. I'm going to go ahead and fill in all the wings, I guess. And then I think we'll leave the tower just as is for now. And then we'll come back and do that later. But, whoops, that's not the right height. For this episode, we're really just going to try to get the framework and kind of the start of the building done, I guess, for this trading hall. And next episode, oh, I'm dying, guys. I'm dying. <laughs> My throat just gave out. Yeah, and then next episode we'll finish up with the building and then start on the actual villager breeder, I hope. 
once again, we'll have to see what time lets us do. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump to that, and then I'll bring you guys... <laughs> uh, and then I'll bring you guys right back. Sorry about that. Progress update as we come swooping in here. Most of the foundations and uh, kind of layout for the second story as well has been completed. Go ahead and just land here. Bam, what is up with this tree? What? Oh my gosh. I think I... Okay, yeah. So I noticed it a little while ago, but the road I had built here, just like, I don't know what happened. It just kind of disappeared when I... Uh, when I started up my world again. And so looking at this, it's almost like this entire chunk just freaked out or something because this tree is cut off. It's super strange. I don't understand it. Yeah, it kind of comes out here. So I think that's 16 blocks. I think that's a chunk. But anyway, uh, random, random topic. So yeah, here we have same foundation as we have for our forge over there, our nice stone, and then kind of the second story, a lot bigger with... Um, yeah, we'll get some windows and kind of a solid form and pattern going there. So what I'm thinking, though, for the uh, for the build, I don't have any junk blocks. Let's grab some junk blocks real fast, and I'll show you what I'm thinking in terms of how this will work as a villager trading center. I know it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's big enough. I got to decide. But anyway, this is kind of like your open courtyard, like I said earlier. And then we come here. And so this level right here will be the, oh, I do have dirt. <laughs> this will be the uh, like villager trading level, I guess, where all the villagers are. And then obviously they'll have their water streams up top with, uh, with all your, yeah, villagers kind of floating around. Breeder will be underground like here somewhere. And then we'll just have an item or a villager elevator take them up. I'm not sure how I want them to like move though, because I'll have one branch going right here. Can I get across? Uh, hardcore parkour. Let's go, baby. Here we are. Oop, nice. Super simple. And then, yeah, we'll have our other other stream of villagers right here. But that brings up a problem because if we have one stream, say like our villagers come up here and they go through this section, then they're going to be stuck down here with no way to get across unless we did some really wonky stuff like going underground and back up. But then they're in mine carts and that's just a pain. Hmm. I don't know. I really I really want to have this thought out before we throw in the walls and stuff. Because if we don't, then we could be in a lot of trouble because of uh yeah, not enough space. Hmm. Okay. What if what if we did the villagers like way up top here so the villagers will be moving like at this level up in the ceiling and then obviously dropping down into the trading center but then like the roof will be coming like little v here and then another little v right oh i know i wouldn't make that dang it more scaffolding ah oh, just short no okay and then yeah we'll have our other little v just going right there and then I think we could, we'll just find a way to kind of throw the thing in the ceiling. It doesn't have to be that high. This is a tiny little, tiny little water stream for the villagers to be able to move. So anyway, the next step will be, I don't know if I'll do it as detailed, but I want kind of that nice oak wood and windows theme going on for the second story. Wow, that was fast. So anyway, that is what I'll be working on now. Last little progress update there, and then I think we'll call it good for this episode. So anyway, let's get that done. All right, folks, here we go for the grand reveal of the basic exterior. Bam! There we go. That's what it's looking like. Pretty basic, very repetitive, not a ton of detail yet, but I don't really mind it. You know what? Yep. I've just kind of learned over my career building that stuff really, you can't really judge a build until the very end. I mean, unless the structure is just really, really bad, then you can normally tell if it's not going to look good, but you can't really judge a build until the end. So I am going to be content with it and see see where it takes us for now. But that is going to do it for this episode back. Channel is up and running again. Don't worry, guys. I am not dead. 
So yes, we'll, we'll be sticking to our recording schedule now and really, really just trying to get some work done and have some fun. So anyway, guys, oh yeah, that's right, sweet. <laughs> I just forgot that I hid some wolves away when I first came here. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, trees. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please make sure to drop a like. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to stay up to date as I die, <laughs> No, if you want to stay up to date on all of my latest content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. But until next time, this has been Flynn, and keep on creating. <laughs>